Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the health channel, and I wanted to talk to you about what's for me my number one supplement. I, I, I take several, but if I could pick only one to have with me on a deserted island, it would be this one. Of course, I might have trouble having fresh water to swallow it with, but let me show it to you here. I take this for circulation, basically, uh, as in keeping the circulation clear. It's called Natto Kinase. And this happens to be the doctor's best brand. It's, uh, it's a good brand. I, I've had good results with it and I've read good things about it. They, they happen to have this and I think one other brand at my local health food store. It, this, I think I paid for this bottle of 90, 90 capsules and I take this, uh, I take two a day. So it's a month and a half supply. I, I think I paid about $22, $23. Uh, you can get it on Amazon for $12. I'll put a link right below here, right down there, in the description section for this video if you want to go right to it on Amazon if you're thinking about trying it. Let me tell you though um, how good it is. <clears throat> it's, it's, a, it's a blood thinner, in, in part of its action is as a blood thinner. So of course you'd have to be very careful if you're taking anything else, Coumadin or any of those other blood thinning type medications. Uh, you don't want to get your blood too thin. The you know, two bad things that can happen is the blood gets too thin and you spring a leak somewhere, whether you know, in your head and have a stroke or somewhere else. The other side, and which tends to be more uh, my family's issue, historically it would seem, is the blood getting too thick. Basically it can tend to clot easily. You can get a blood clot, which of course you get that in your head. That's also a stroke. Um, you can get it in your heart. It's a heart attack and you can get them in your leg and have deep vein thrombosis. Anyway, it's not good to have anywhere. So you have to strike just the right balance of having your blood not too thin, but also not too prone to clotting. So this has some blood thinning um, effect, but what it does kind of more amazingly, and more amazingly consider um, that almost nobody seems to talk about this, that it doesn't get the recognition it deserves, is it actually dissolves clots. And um, I read about, I was researching on uh, blood thinners and found the usual things about garlic and some, some other things, and uh, the ginger tea. But I read about this and people said, this is the strongest thing you can get if you really want to clear out your uh, circulatory system. So I read up on it and um, I already knew what natto was. I lived in Japan for a number of years and people like that for breakfast. Oh, I, I, not only did I never try tasting it, maybe I should have tried tasting it, but the smell. <clears throat> it's, a, it's fermented soybeans and it smells so bad and it's this uh, sticky, uh, thicker than egg white consistency because they'd eat it with the chopsticks and the rice and it would just, you know, the lines of the gloopy stuff going up and oh. Anyway, I never did try it, but maybe I should have. I would have been getting some of the good effect of this years later if I had only tried that back when I was in Japan. This is um, an enzyme, well it's like an enzyme, I think it's not a true enzyme, that they extract from the, uh, the natto. They add, um, I think it's bacillus natto to natto, which is, for, which is um, to soybeans, and let it ferment, and the result is natto, from which they extract this, which is one of the active components of natto, and this is the, the component of it that actually has the effect of breaking down the clots. Now, as a Japanese researcher, I think in the 80s, who did uh, the studies on this, and he, in a, a petri dish, a test tube, he actually had clots. He uh, induced blood to clot, and then applied some of this to the clot, and um, within like 18 hours, the clots had dissolved. So they went on to do some small studies with animals, with rats and dogs, where they induced clots in them. They gave half the dogs uh, natto, they gave half of them a placebo, and within a few hours, they would do some kind of a scan to look at the circulation in the dog, and they would see that the clots had disappeared and the circulation had returned to normal in the dogs who had been given the natto and the natto extract. The dogs who had just been given the placebo, no change. They still had impaired circulation in that part of the body because the clot was still there. <clears throat> so this works similarly to um, something you have in your own body. It's, uh, it, it's what's used to break down clots that your body does itself. But this seems to work even more powerfully than that natural agent that you have. And of course, if you don't have enough of the natural agent, then you tend to get blood clots, your blood clots very easily, and then this works to help counteract that. 
also has a beneficial effect on blood pressure. Um, I think it does something good to the inside lining of your arteries and veins. And so it, um, people who uh, take this regularly generally see about a 10% reduction in their blood pressure, both the top number and the bottom number tend to go down about 10%. They, um, and also the effectiveness of it in your system after you've taken a capsule is uh, 8 to 12 hours. So I take it twice a day, once in the morning, once at night, so I have some in my system all the time. And the same effect that it has with the um, breaking down the blood clots, it apparently, from, oh this is anecdotal, which a lot of this information with uh, things that are generally prescribed by Western medicine, a lot of the information is, it's anecdotal, people tell you stories, man, it worked for me, you ought to try it, um, is it does fibroids, like uterine fibroids, people have issues with that. Um, it's not an overnight cure, but over some months, people, if you search online, you can find people have uh, said that they've shrunk in size, some people, their fibroids have actually disappeared. So <clears throat> that kind of clumpy stuff you have in your body that you shouldn't have there, this helps to remove it. Um, the way I look at it is it's similar to melatonin, which I never wanted to take when I, before. I was having s trouble uh, getting a good night's sleep, but I didn't want to take any medicine. I didn't want to get hooked on anything that was gonna, I was going to continue to need to sleep. But then I read that a, a medication I was on for uh, blood pressure actually flushes out your natural melatonin. Also, when you get older, you tend not to have as much melatonin in your system. So I changed my way of thinking about melatonin and decided... Well, I don't have enough. That's part of why I'm having trouble sleeping. So I'll take the melatonin in a tablet form to replace what I've lost both by age and by being on this other medication. So it's actually restoring my natural balance and not putting something foreign into me. I'm basically just restoring the natural balance. And, and by the way, the melatonin really is great. Um, yeah, it's, it's improved my sleep immensely. But anyway, that's another video right now. I'm just talking about this good stuff right here. I suppose this would might be a toss-up with the melatonin if I were on that deserted island because I really would like to continue to get a good night's sleep. But no, I, I think I'd pick this. It's still my number one supplement. Um, read the reviews on Amazon. Go out and just do a, a search on it. It's, it's like four and a half, five star. People just seem to love this. What's surprising is so few people have talked about it. Uh, Dr. Oz mentioned it. I don't know if he mentioned it on his show, but on his website, there's a, a very brief, brief reference to it in... A, oriental medicine cures that you know we should know more about in the US. I'm just just a little one line or two and it's, it's amazing um, how much it's helped me. Um, I had issues with palpitations and other circulatory problems and um, it's improved them immensely. It's not very expensive. Uh, you can go again to Amazon and get it pretty cheaply or if you really feel like you want to start it today then find your local health food store and see if they have it in stock and, and go ahead and give it a try. Um, <coughs> I'd like to know what effect it had for you, whether you think it really did help you out if you tried it for a few weeks or whether you took a whole bottle for a month and a half and it seemed to do absolutely nothing. So uh, please leave a comment on the video. I'd like to know what you think about this, if it might become your number one supplement too.